Ah, just my luck. A piece of PETG is broken off inside of my Sprite extruder, and even my finest tweezers can't pull this one out. I also can't push it through because the other end has solidified into a little blob. It won't go any further. Alright, I guess we'll have to take it apart. This thing is covered in screws, but not to worry. The Allen key set that came with your 3D printer will work on this one just fine. And while it may look a little complicated, not to worry, it's basically just a stepper motor with a thing that gets hot stuck onto it. I'll disconnect the heating block plug and start with the screw in the bottom right here. The screw is incredibly long and mine is incredibly filthy on the inside. This is because the screw actually goes entirely through the heat sink for the heating block. Subsequently, the cooling fan blows across it, leading to a lot of dust being built up. The strain relief at the top also holds the board to the frame, so we'll need to remove those two screws as well. After definitely remembering to unplug the thermistor, the board is free to come out from the frame. Over on the exhaust side of the heating block, we'll find one single screw holding the bracket on. We need to remove that one. Wouldn't you know it, it's another one of those small screws and it's just above the touch probe. Now the bracket and probe can be removed by lifting up slightly and pulling it away. Back to the back, there's another screw in the bottom left. This one is slightly shorter than the long screw, but still pretty long. Now the entire hot end and heat sink can be pulled down and away. This thing looks like a funny little face and we're gonna remove its eyes. There are two more screws in both top corners that need to be taken out. There's a small little PTFE tube that will fall out as soon as you turn this thing over. But our extruder mechanism isn't quite free yet. In the bottom right is a small screw that doesn't actually need to be removed. I didn't know this because this is legitimately my first time taking it apart. The real target here are these two teeny tiny little Allen screws that need to be removed. They hold the fan in. Are you having fun yet? I know I am. Finally, the gearbox is free from the stepper motor and we can finally get to the meat and bones of this repair, which was taking apart this gearbox because it is not that easy. They are very much stuck together because the gears internally are very, very tight tolerances and they are in line right now. So to pull this apart, what you need to do is grab a pry tool, but we want to walk these pieces apart. We don't want to pry one side of it up without the other side coming up too. These gears are really tiny. I don't know what metal they're made of. I don't trust that metal, so we're going to be really careful here. With the gearbox open, we can get a good look inside at the inner workings. These gears are really cool looking and have a spring mechanism when you pull that lever. This is something I'd expect to see on a camera teardown from Romping Bronco. And here is the cause of all our problems. A small, tiny piece of PETG, burnt titanium color, that had gotten chewed up in the gears and could no longer extrude through the tube below it or come out from the tube above it. The inside gears also look pretty cool. Uh, they're relatively clean given how much filament has gone through these, but there might be some dust built up and using some canned air wouldn't be a bad idea. Getting the gearbox back together is equally as challenging, at least if you've played with the gears like I did. Now they're all out of alignment. So what you've got to do is press these together very carefully and you may actually have to manually turn the stepper motor from the front of it to get these gears to line up before it finally clicks back into place. From there, the process is incredibly simple. Just go in reverse order, make a few mistakes, review the video that you're making to make sure you're putting the right screw in the right place because you didn't keep a screw map for some reason. And uh, eventually the extruder will be reassembled and let's go put it back on the printer. Four screws will get this mounted back on the plate and the gantry. Main cable clipped in and eased back into the strain relief. Back in business. If you want to see some other cool 3D printing stuff, check out some of my videos up there in the corner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.